and I appear to be recording, so that's good news. Yay! Hooray! Okay, and we're just going to mute everybody. Just can't seem to mute. I've muted everybody, so give me a second to unmute you, Daniel. There you go. Right, everyone's muted except you. Lovely. Okay, Ooh. thanks everyone for bearing with me. Most untechy person in the whole world. So there we go. So hi everybody, thanks for joining us this evening. The first of three really exciting calls actually. Um, we've designed this to help you uh, get to grips with some different types of customer gathering and some different ways of getting in front of uh, a number of people to help increase your businesses. So that's what we want. So this first one this evening is all about winner minis or are better known as WAMs. And I'll just introduce myself for anybody who doesn't know me. So I'm Danielle Bennett, a senior team leader in the business. I've been doing this now for about two and a half years and a hundred plus club. And what I put uh, most of my customers down to now uh, are winner minis. Uh, so it really did make a massive change for me. I was about a year into the business before I actually tried one. And uh, once I did, I could honestly say, I mean, when I look at my numbers now, I'm looking at probably the first year I uh, got to about 50 plus. And then from then, I've probably had about 100 or more customers in the following year uh, with doing these winner minis. So they really do make uh, make make a difference. They really do work. Uh, they're they're also known as whams. So that's what you might see lots of. Now, uh, forgive me, people, if there's already people who are, who are experienced whammers on here. We're going to go back to basics for people who are brand new, who have never tried one, or um, perhaps want to give one a go. So um, what I'm going to run through is what exactly a winner mini is initially. So it is a free prize draw that Utility Warehouse run and it's drawn every year, it's drawn at Express Day. And what happens is there is one winner who wins a mini, funnily enough, <laughs> or 10,000 pounds cash. And uh, what it is for us is an opportunity to talk to people um, who we don't know and have never met before, uh, but it gives us an opportunity to tell them a little bit about what we do and how Utility Warehouse helps people. So there are uh, a different uh, range of winner minis and how they're done and where they're done. Um, so how they are organized is uh, there's fates, festivals, fairs, those kind of winner minis uh, where we'd have a stand. There's also the ones myself and Alex run uh, locally, which are store uh, winner minis. So we're normally in places like Wix, the co-op, uh, the range, lots of different places like that. Um, now, the great thing, is there are lots of people around the country who already have winner mini set up so it's not necessarily something you have to sit and think oh god I need to set one of these up and I don't know where to start or what I'm doing so there is a winner mini Facebook page um, which uh, I would say if this is something you'd like to do and you're not local to us um, do go on there you can always just post on there um, this is where I live I'm interested in whams who's doing them local to me and obviously do let myself Hannah Alex know um, if you're in our teams let us know we can guide you and help you with people who are already have these set up if you do want to set them up at some point yourself you can and uh, normally STL and above sets them up uh, through agencies uh, for places like Wix and uh, the co-op but I always think if you've got someone else who's already done it for you great because me and Alex will be the first ones to say it's not the easiest <laughs> to organize so let someone else do that do the hard work for you so what you actually do is uh, jump on a wham slot so uh, what normally happens is places like the co-op for example we have a three-day event there and uh, the day will be broken up into possibly three different slots where there will be one or uh, sorry two or three people on one slot so how it normally works is one person will be at the wham stand as we call it so there's normally either an actual professional wham stand or it's a tablecloth and a, and a table that was how we started so uh, <laughs> um, so uh, and it's really nice actually because you've got company you're not there on your own and uh, you actually share how the wham works so and I'll go through exactly what we do on the wham stand and then it will make sense now for what I'm saying so one person will be on the stand and one person will normally be slipping at the door and I'll go through exactly what slipping is in a moment uh, you do pay for your slots on the wham stands because they do cost the person who's organized them uh, so when we go through uh, agencies for example there is always a fee involved in that so uh, 
what the organizer does is share the cost of the event. They don't make any profit from it. Uh, they literally just uh, split uh, the cost into the number of slots that they've got. So we normally look at paying around 10 to 15 pounds each for a slot on a, a store wham. Fates and fares are offered normally much cheaper than that. So um, you can normally get fares or fates for around five pounds. I know Hannah Arnold who's on the call is a great one at organizing um, fares and fates as well. So fantastic. So let's crack on uh, with exactly what we do and exactly what they're about. So if you're going to do a winner mini, you need to have a few things with you uh, when you go there. Now, if you're going with one that somebody's already organized, the stand is already there, so you don't need to worry about that. What you do need to have with you, these are all available in our partner shop as well. There is a laminated, what we call Joanna card. It has two sides to it there. Uh, so that is vital to have on the stand. Uh, also, uh, winner mini form there. Alex is smiling at me. Am I showing these really well? I feel a bit I like it. Very, very well. Very well. <laughs> and a winner mini slip. So you normally get these in quite big packs and uh, you'll understand why you need quite a lot of these. Also have a pen with you. The other thing we do have is a clipboard. And I'm going to talk a bit more about the clipboards in a moment uh, because what we don't want to do is appear salesy. So we want to be very different to double glazing stands and things like that. So uh, when you've got the clipboard, just bear in mind, don't stand there with a the clipboard like this, uh, speaking to people because it does look very salesy. So just have that clipboard there literally to lean on when you are, um, when you're filling in the forms. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I did a little bit at one of our accelerator trainings. So Alex, I'm going to try my best being very untechy to, <laughs> to let everybody see these because I just thought they're perfect actually for, uh, to show people exactly what we do. The biggest thing I would say you need, honestly, is just a smile. You need to be friendly happy, approachable. You want to be the kind of person that people want to come up and talk to. So whatever has happened, uh, Alex knows my crazy nutty six-year-old boy, uh, as adorable as he is, but pretty Pretty much every morning I turn up on the WAN stand, we've had a stressful school run. You know, it's just been, we're racing out the door and, you know, you've just got to let go of all of that and just be there and, and enjoy it and be there to smile at people, talk to them and be friendly. That is going to make such a big difference. Okay. So firstly, what I would say with the slips, I really want to talk about these actually, because these are such an essential part of winner minis. Now, not everyone is able to slip at certain venues. Um, we're very lucky we can. Um, and I would say, um, you know, if you can slip, it, it really is great. It makes such a difference. And what this avoids is kind of having to usher people over to the stand or call them over or you know over here over here here's you know here's a free prize draw which we don't want to do so actually what one person will do is hand these out at the uh, entrance to a store and uh, they'll literally just say and it's so important that you get this bit right okay I've seen lots of people um, who I've whammed with in the past and this bit they don't think is very important and they don't bother with. Um, but this is the first representation someone has of Utility Warehouse. So if you're standing there on your phone, um, just half-heartedly giving these out, um, that is not a good, a good indicator of what we're about. So when you're giving out these slips, it's really important to just say one very simple line. And it's also very important to do this action while you're saying it. So you are putting this slip into the person's hand. So they're going to take it. And what you say is, good morning, this is for you. There it goes in their hand. Hand this slip into our stand by the exit. Um, and that's it, that's all you say to them. Hand this slip into our stand by the exit. And some people will go, thank you, great. Some people will go, oh, well, What's that about then? And the most I ever say is, there's a free prize draw. That's it. Okay, great, thanks. Good luck, off you go. So they're gonna walk around the store. Normally, most of the stands are by the exit. So you can normally um, see people as they're coming out once they've done their shopping. 
So what will happen then is not everyone will bring a slipover. So please don't think, you know, oh my God, there's loads of people walking past me and nobody wants to come over. Don't worry. It's just numbers as everything is in this business. So don't worry about the people who walk past. You can always say to people, if you are the person on the stand, you can always say to people, have you got your winning slip? Did you get your winning slip when you came in? Um, and most people at that point will go, oh, yeah, I have actually. It's in my back pocket. So some people just need a bit of a reminder to come over and, and hand you the slip. So that's a great way in to getting, um, getting to start speaking to people. So I'm going to share this part here, Alex, hopefully. <laughs> so bear with me while this works. And I might need uh, Rob in a moment because I'm so bad with stuff no, like that's this. Good. Okay, so this is the only way I could do it, unfortunately. So what I want you to think about is what you want to achieve from your time on the winning mini stand, okay? So we're not there to give out business cards. Um, that's not what we're about. We're there to book an appointment. That's what we want to do. So we want to speak to a person. We want to fill in the form, enter them into the free prize draw, and then we want to tell them a bit about Utility Warehouse, and we want them to invite us over to their house so we can do an, a, a presentation with them. So the best outcome, and always have this in mind when you're with the Winner Mini Stand, is you want to get an appointment in the diary. That's not always going to happen with everybody who comes over to you. So the second best outcome there is that you are going to call them back and you schedule that in the diary with them, just like you would with an appointment. So you don't just say, I'll give you a call over the next couple of days. You actually find out the best time to call that person. Okay, so I'm going to call you back. Is Wednesday good for you? Is Wednesday a good date? Great. Okay. When should I call you on Wednesday? Would you like me to call you in the morning? or in the afternoon and get that booked in. Um, so they're, they're, they, know, they know you're going to call, they're expecting you to call. And it also leaves you in control, okay, which is what we always want to be. And the third best outcome there is going to be that you hand out a business card or they are going to call you, but that is not what we are aiming to do, okay? Brilliant. So let's have a look at exactly what we say when we're on the stand or oh, actually just before that bit I'm going to go through these bits here which I think I've mentioned already uh, but just if you want to write these down um, if that helps you uh, then great so number one point here as I mentioned smiling and building rapport so so many of my appointments on the winning mini stand have been booked because I have literally just chatted to people spoken to them been interested in them um, that is the key to it really so the next bit slipping which we've spoken about so just that simple line good morning or good afternoon this is for you hand that slip into our stand by the exit Done. okay and next one uh we're going to complete the wham form which i'll go through now to tell you exactly what i say to do that part and then i'm going to show you what we say with using the joanna uh, laminated card as well okay and just like Hannah has spoken about on pretty much every single call we've done or any bit of training we've spoken about when it's to do with appointments or booking appointments or um, you know finalizing appointments it's the close so it's that really important point of actually using that when's best for you daytimes evenings weekends um, and then really narrowing it down to a time so let's go through how this is exactly going to work when we have someone come over to us with their slip and they're so excited to uh, to enter the free prize draw of course they are so uh i'm just going to stop sharing for a moment and i will come back to this bit because the first bit you're going to do is fill in uh the winner mini form with the person now if you think about yourself walking up to a stand what do people not want to do they don't want to give out their details, okay? So I really make a point of never ever using the word details. So what I will say to people is, oh my good, wow, you've got the winning slip, fantastic. What would you like then? So would you like the mini or the money? Or you'd like the money, great. What are you gonna do with 10,000 pounds cash? And most people at that point will go, oh, I'm off, I'll, I'll book my next holiday or whatever it's gonna be, or it's, it's gonna be a, a deposit on a house or you know, whatever. And that, that already starts such a conversation with people. Just that one question. So by that point, I've then got them, they're, they're really interested, they're really keen, they want to enter. So all I say to them is, right, all I'm going to need is your name and the best number to call you when you've won. Okay, the best number to call you on when you've won. 
and they normally laugh at that point. Oh, when I've won, oh, I love that, very positive, okay? So, uh, and this is what you want. You want them to laugh with you. You want them to be comfortable in your presence, okay? So once you put in their name, best contact number, I don't often take an email because the one thing people always say is, oh God, am I going to get a load of email, a load of spam emails? No, because I don't even take an email address. You don't, you don't need to. Um, if you want to, fine. Now, the other bit we do need is their address. Um, and some people, again, just to make them comfortable, what I would normally say, particularly if they've given me a landline number, then I would say something like, oh, you're local. Oh, wow. Okay. Normally at that point, people will go, yeah, I live in Broadstairs or, oh, okay, great. What's your postcode there? So normally if you say that, people are not even thinking that they're giving out all of their details, okay? So you write down their postcode, um, and all I take is postcode and door number, because that's normally sufficient for, for the form. If people are funny about giving out postcode um, or door number, just say, we literally just need this to prove you're a UK resident. So that normally works really well at that point. So going down uh, the form, after I've got uh, the postcode and door number, I make a point of introducing myself at that point um so i will say oh mrs smith oh fantastic best of luck in the draw uh, my name's danielle by the way it's really lovely to meet you and she'll normally say yes lovely to meet you too okay great so just one quick question before you go and the question is on the form so at that point i ask them how much roughly is your home phone and broadband at the moment so they'll say i don't know 45 pounds oh, Forty-five pounds. Okay, right. So I write down forty-five pounds, and I always make it whatever the amount is. I always make it sound a lot. So if it's fifteen pounds, oh, fifteen pounds. Okay. Uh, if it's a hundred pounds, oh, hundred pounds. My goodness. Okay, right. Write that down. And the next question is: most of the time, people at that point will go, "Too much." <laughs> Brilliant. Great. It's too much. Lovely. So that's already answered my next question. Would you like to pay less? Yes. Okay. Who wouldn't like to pay less? Okay. Some people do say no. If they do say no, I still tell them what we're about and what we're doing. Because if they say no, I will say, okay, great. Um, they might say I'm happy with who I'm with or whatever. Okay. That's great. Um, what I'll do is I'll just show you about who we are, uh, who the company behind your prize are, because most people have never heard of, of us. And if it's not something for now, it might be something for the future. And this is when I'll go on to the Joanna card. So if they do say, yes, they want to pay less, great, just go brilliant. Okay, I'm gonna tell you about who we are because that's exactly what we do. So the idea is then just to move on to this card. Now what I would do normally is have my clipboard down and I will have this card underneath on the uh, stand and I will only bring the card out at that point so I don't want to look salesy at all with the, with the cards you know in my hand so just bring it out at that point when you're about to tell them about us and I'm going to go back over to um, the bit I was going to show you because this will go through and you can write these down if you want to as well so I'll just go back over to uh, Okay, so we go on to the Joanne alumni card. Now the Joanne alumni card has two sides. It's very long. Um, there's a lot of information on that card. Now just think about how much time we actually have of people's attention before we completely lose them. So I would say it's probably about a minute at the most. So I don't go through the whole card. I just go through these parts of it. Okay, and when I come back over on the video, I'll show you exactly how it works because it's kind of a nice little pattern which I like because uh, it's easy to remember. So the first thing I say to them is once I've filled in the form, they tell me they want to pay less or they don't want to pay less, whichever one. Um, I then just say, Have you ever heard of Utility Warehouse before? Most people at that point will say no. Some people will say yes. If they say yes, I ask them where they've heard of us before. And normally they say, I saw an advert on TV. <laughs> to which you go, oh, you must be getting us confused with somebody else. Because do you know what? We don't do any advertising whatsoever. No. So that's a great way in as well. So uh, if they say no, I've never heard of you before. I will actually say then, don't worry. Um, most people have never heard of us before. Then I mentioned Joanna Lumley. And I will say, uh, the lovely Joanna Lumley, she's the company's brand ambassador. And on this laminated card, there is a nice little picture of Joanna up in the right-hand corner. Um, then I go over to the Witch Awards, because most people have never heard of us, but pretty much everybody has heard of Witch Magazine. 
they know what it is uh, they know that's what they go to if people are going to look to to buy something or use something uh, so I would always say ah do you know about which magazine then yes great fantastic so we've actually won a massive 28 which awards to date we're now the UK's number one for everything that we do <laughs> I'm trying to work out who that is. I don't, I don't know if it's Rob, is it? Is it Rob? It's not Rob. Is, is it you, Rob? Yeah. It's not Rob. Okay, brilliant. It's muted. So great. Then I will say, actually, the reason that you've never heard of us before, and the reason most people have never heard of us before, is because we don't do any advertising whatsoever. So we pass those savings on to you instead. Now, this is a great bit. We help you save money in three ways. And I'll literally be pointing this out on the card as I go down. Uh, so we help you save money in three ways. The first way is your bills. So home, phone and broadband, mobile, gas and electricity in any combination that suits you. Now, I like that bit because people don't feel they've got to take everything. Now, we know when we get in front of them, of course, they're going to take everything because that's how it makes the most sense. That's where they're going to make the maximum savings. OK, but what we don't want is people to go, oh, not I'm not switching my broadband. Oh, I'm not touching that. Oh, no, I don't. you know, so just leave it to them. You know, actually, you can take them in any combination that suits you. But we guarantee to save you money overall. So they know they're going to save money no matter what. Uh, the second way is cash back. And I don't, uh, so on the back of the card, I'll go back over and show you the back of the card in a moment. The back of the card is full of uh, the cash back cards, all the cash back partners, the enhanced partners. It's actually just really time consuming, really wordy. People don't need to know about it at that point. All they need to know is on all of your spends, you get cash back and it comes off of your bill with us. Brilliant. The third way is completely free LED light bulbs throughout your property. Now, when I come back over to the card, you'll see that you can just go through these, literally read them out from the card. So a uh, free installation, a free lifetime guarantee, so you'll never buy another bulb again. And that gives you about 15% off your electricity for life, every year for life, should I say. Now, the really important bit here that I do is I literally ask the question that's on the bottom of the laminated card. So I'm not saying anything that you need to remember. It's really tricky to remember. It's literally worded there. Would saving money benefit you? And I will use their name. So as it was Mrs. Smith who came over to me, I'd say, so Mrs. Smith, would saving money benefit you? And most people will say yes, because of course it does. It benefits everybody. Um, Okay, great. Now, at this point, I'm also very conscious that I've made a, some kind of relationship with them. I've started to build a relationship. I've built a good amount of rapport. I personally don't mention it as an appointment because I want it to be like I'm just being their friend, really. So what I do say at this point is absolutely great. All I do is I pop over and have a cup of tea with you at a time that's good for you. I show you a bit more about us. I show you the savings we can make you. And if you like it, great. If you don't, there's absolutely nothing lost because it's a completely free service. Now, as soon as I finish that line, I don't wait for them to say anything. I just get my phone out of my pocket and I say, so when's best for you? Daytimes, evenings or weekends? And it's almost just getting in that line before they have an option to say, oh, I, do, I, do, I don't know whether I want to book anything. OK, so you're straight in there with your phone in your hand. And do you know what? It just reassures people that this is just normal. This is what people do. They just book, an, they book a time for, for us to come over and see them. I know some people do use appointment in there. I just, I just prefer it myself to make it a bit more friendly uh, and a bit more like I'm just, you know, I'm just meeting this person. We're going to have a cuppa together. It's going to be nice and simple and uh, it's going to be nice and friendly. So that works really well on that point. So once you've got uh, what's best for you, this is the close here. Daytimes, evenings or weekends. OK, daytimes. Great. So this week I could do Tuesday or Thursday. What works best for you? Great. Thursday. Right. What time would you like me to come over? Um, is it going to be the morning or the afternoon? And there we go. It's in the diary. Now, what I do at this point as well, I'm going to come back off here uh, if I can and stop my share. Brilliant. So I should be back uh, on the back of the form. There is a part at the top that says your appointment and you can fill all that in partner name, partner phone number. 
I don't use that. Okay, the idea is you're supposed to rip that off and off, off and give that to the person that you book the appointment with. I don't do that because personally, I don't want them to have my phone number because I want to be in control. Um, I don't want them to ring me up and cancel before I've even had an opportunity to show them. Now, just bear in mind, if you do that and don't give out your phone number, there will be some no-shows. That's going to happen. Okay, it's just part of it. Um, I've just over experience have learned or through experience, should I say, have learned that I'm better to have no shows than loads and loads of cancellations and postponements because that's what happens if they have your number. Okay, so I don't fill that bit in. I just write on the back of the slip that they they gave me. I just write the date of our appointment, the time and my name. And that's all I put. And sometimes people will say, uh, can I have your number? And at that point, I don't push it very much. I mean, I know some people in the business are very like, not gonna give their number out no matter what. If they ask for it, I give it. But uh, I tend to know what's gonna happen if they do have my number, because uh, people are, they'll just find a reason or an excuse um, for you not to come over at, at whatever time you've booked. So I find it much better to just, uh, just be in control. Um, but just bear in mind, We've all had no shows. Uh, Alex will uh, will back me up on this one. Uh, I had a terrible run. Uh, so last November, November before, uh, eight no shows in a row, all in one week. Yeah, it's terrible. So and it, it's awful. It, it's a horrible, horrible feeling. But do you know what? You just get back out there and uh, get yourself another sign up, and and it doesn't matter. You kind of forget all about that. But it is a preference. You can decide if you want to give out your number. Um, you can decide if you want to check with that person before you go to the appointment. And I would base it really, I think Alex does this as well. Alex, you base it around um, how far away they are, that kind of thing, really. Yeah, so, sorry, lovely. Yes. Yeah. So I'd normally do, if it's further than half an hour away, I would normally check that they're going to be there. Um, if it's within half an hour, I'm not too worried about losing half an hour of my time. Um, I'll do something else with that time. I'll be making some calls on my way um, there and on my way back. So I'm going to book some more appointments anyway by making some calls. So, uh, but yeah, completely down to you on that point. Right, Alex, is there anything else I haven't gone over? We were going to talk a little bit about... Um, etiquette on the WAM stand. Before I do do that, I should say on that card, because I couldn't show you, literally what I was talking about is just pretty much missing out all of this middle <laughs> bit here, uh, because they don't really need to know that bit. So you literally go along here, down, along the light bulbs, and then ask that question at the bottom. So that's how I do it. Now, I should just say before I move on to anything else, if people do say, oh, I'm in a contract, okay, that's the point to to bring this out. Oh, well, actually, that's okay because we cover up to 200 pounds anyway of any contracts. Oh, okay, great. So that's not a reason for them not to see you, okay? Um, but other than that, I don't really mention anything in the middle there and I don't mention that part on the back unless somebody says to me, what's the, what's the, cash, what's the cash back all about then? So if they want to spend more time standing there with me, I can show them the back of that. But the point is, you're gonna show them about that when you get to see them anyway, okay? Great. So a next part we want to talk about, and it's something that me and Alex felt uh, very strongly about, actually, is um, etiquette for WAMs. So uh, really important. If you book a slot and pay for it, I know the way myself and Alex run these is they are non-refundable. We do that for a very important reason. We don't want people to just jump in and book any old slots and then go, oh, I can't do that slot. Oh, actually, when I've looked, no, I can't do that now. Um, and also, the ones that me and Alex do now, normally there's only two people on the stand. So it is really, really important that you do not let people down because there will be one person left on that stand on their own. I've done whams on my own. It's not much fun, really. It is, it's hard work because you can't do this bit and you can't be on the stand at the same time. So it's really important that, you know, you book a slot and you stick to it unless there really is. Uh, you know, some, uh, you know, terrible reason that you can't be on that stand. Okay. And I always look at it like if it was my job, if, it, if that was my job to turn up to work and be there, sometimes I feel really grotty and I, <laughs> I don't want to go and do a wham because I don't feel very well. But I think to myself, right, as a teacher feeling like this, would I've gone in for the day? 
yes, okay, then I'll go on the wham stand and do it. And I'll take some paracetamol and get myself through it. So, uh, you know, really think that through. Don't just, you know, don't just give up on your slots really easily because it does leave somebody in the lurch quite a lot. Um, the other point is, which I know Alex felt very strongly about as well, is when you are on there, be 100% in it. Don't just go and do it half-heartedly because, you know, you will get half-hearted results if you do that. So, you know, go there, be really friendly, smiley, happy, and be positive when you're giving out the slips, be happy when you speak to people, and don't be there on your phone. You know, I know how easy it is to just kind of, oh, I've got a text, or I'll just check that text, and you're standing on the wham stand looking at your phone, or you're giving out these slips on your phone. It just looks really unprofessional. So just remember who we are representing, which is a FTSE 250 company. So we need to be professional in our approach and what we're doing. Um, and we've, yes. we've got five minutes left on the call. Oh, lovely. Okay. Um, I know that my bit is short and sweet, but I'm going to have to just okay. hurry it up a little bit if that's Go okay. For it. Okay. So the last thing that we were just going to talk about is the fact that different personality styles um, attack whams in very different ways. Now you've probably all completely got tonight that Danielle is one of the loveliest people on our team. <clears throat> I imagine a lot of the people that join her as customers and partners do it because they want to be her friend. And, um, and they're worried they might not see her again if they don't sign up. No, <laughs> joking, aside, joking aside, Danielle has a really, really lovely way about her. She's, she's there to make friends as well as help people. And that's just her personality. So you'll see that a lot of the things that she said in the way that she delivers that um, script, you know, really come from that position. And that's great. Um, but you might be a slightly different type of personality. You might already know that I am a very different personality from Danielle. I'm not nice at all. I am just uh, <laughs> to get the job done. Um, for me, it's about quick, uh, you know, getting through the script very quickly. Um, I don't faff about. I'm, I don't have a lot of conversation with people at all on the WAM stand. I just want to get the result. So, you know, have you heard of Utility Warehouse? Um, it, whatever they say, uh, we do three things for our customers. We reduce your household bills, things like gas and electric, mobile, broadband. We try and save you about 25% um, on those bills. We give you cash back on all your shopping. Every time you spend money anywhere, we give you money back. I get about £50 a month back just for doing the shopping that I'm doing anyway. So it's just free money. We'll also fit brand new LED light bulbs throughout your house completely for free. That reduces your consumption by about 15%. But they're also guaranteed for life, so you never have to look, buy another light bulb again. Have you heard of Witch Magazine? Most people say yes. Brilliant. Well, we're rated number one for all of the services that we provide. Now, all I'm doing here today is just booking short 20-minute appointments at a time that suits you. I'm going to show you the difference between what you're paying at the moment and what you would be paying with us. And if you like it, great. And if you don't like it, it's only cost you a cup of tea. When, when you're available, when's best for you. Again, same as what Danielle said before. Um, so for me, it's much shorter, it's much quicker, and it's much more to the point. So I probably get through more people, but you know, conversion rate, I'd say probably Danielle and myself are about the same. You know, I would expect to get probably three to four solid appointments from a three hour wham slot and probably a couple of really good callbacks as well. And um, I think Danielle's nodding. It's probably similar sort of ratio to you, yep. So yep. You know, I probably speak to more people, but I don't get such good conversion rate. Danielle's conversion rate is very high, but she probably doesn't get through so many people. So the great thing about that is, it doesn't matter what kind of a personality you are, because you can make WAMs work for you, whatever type of personality you are. So don't, you know, what you will notice is that my script and Danielle's script is almost identical word for word. It's just delivered in a slightly different way, and that suits our personality. There's no point being on a wham stand if you're going to hate every minute of it because you're trying to be somebody that you're not. And people will know that you're trying to be something that you're not as well. So just be you. Deliver it in the way that you're happy to do it. If you need to make some tweaks in the way that you deliver it, do. But just stick to the script. Stick to essentially what we've both told you to say this evening. So there we go. I think we've got through it. Two minutes left. So I think what we really need to say is thank you so much, Danielle. You're an absolute star when it comes to winning minis. <laughs> you know, the results show that as well. Um, and and Alex, yeah. Alex, can I just say one thing? You know, with like you said about timing, you know, when people do this and practice it, it is quick. You know, I've obviously broken it down very slowly tonight. It's it about takes about, about, about a minute. Yeah, so it's like just about minute. practicing it as well. Don't just turn up and not know what you're going to do. Come play. back to us. It's gonna, the call's going to cut out any second. So come to us right. if you want help, if you want to book yes. one. 
if you want to book one of our slots, if you want one of us to come on a winner mini stand with you and do your first one with you, we are here to help, we're here to support you and we want this to work for you. So please stay in contact, let us know how you're getting on and how we can help you and go out there and get some great leads and some great customers and I think we're going to have to say bye. Night yeah. everyone, see you Love on next call yeah. next Wednesday, 9 o'clock, we'll send out the link. Okay, it's going to be neighbour letters, so let's do it all again. See you later. See you later. Bye.